All right. <clears throat> I am back from trying it another time. <clears throat> and um, no joy again. Getting aggravated now. And I'm <clears throat> getting hungry and tired, so it's time to quit. But uh, here's the exit. After setting those settings, after taking out those, you know, the camera two stream. Uh, start streaming, crash, OBS not running, <clears throat> then the uh, crash message came up, got back into OBS, what's that, start streaming again, oh that was the last time, so that was this time, start streaming, crash, yeah it's the uh, same screenshot over and over, just a little bit different, <clears throat> so it came up just as I got it back up again. So, <clears throat> oh, I was on the camera. See, I see I'm tired now. Um, well, I went to all that trouble. Came up, the, the <clears throat> it came up <clears throat> just as usual right after I start streaming. I, I went ahead and went in there and... Uh, Okay, so I'm out of ideas. Quit. <clears throat> and um, so, <clears throat> and whenever I look at stuff, all I see is I see lots of people having problems, but I don't see any real answers. <clears throat> I don't remember finding any answers that anyone said, okay, thanks, that worked. So, maybe it really is a some series of bugs that they have not got figured out yet. I don't know why suddenly it would just get buggy. <clears throat> well, you never do know why until, they never know why, you know, you, if you're the programmer, you never know why until you figure it out. <coughs> <clears throat> but <clears throat> oh yeah let me <clears throat> export this scene collection at least I still have those other scene collections. See, I didn't actually lose them. <clears throat> I think maybe I'm up to number five. Okay. But probably I'll go back to the one before this one <clears throat> and then work from there. But um, if I ever figure out how to make it work again. Here's Linux install directions. <clears throat> Just thinking about reinstall it. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's in the Fedora repos, I'm almost certain. So all I have to do is just go in there and uninstall it and reinstall it. <clears throat> OpenGL 3.2 or later is required to use OBS Studio on Linux. Well, let's go see. <clears throat> I should have it. I mean, I was already working, so I should have all these things, but let's go see. Two. <clears throat> I have 3.3. And I'm using the Mesa driver, <clears throat> a little video driver. Yeah, it wouldn't even record if if I didn't have that. So it something to do with the streaming, yeah.
Ubuntu Arch <clears throat> Fedora. Oh, it's in the RPM Fusion repos. Okay. <clears throat> There's the commands to configure the RPM. I was wondering, wanting those. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't, it doesn't, sometimes they give you the commands per your distro version, but this is just the, the commands that'll, whatever your distro is, it'll do it. So that's the ones I want. <clears throat> I actually want that for my server, not for this. I've already got those on there. I'm going to get that right now. <clears throat> I know it's not anything to do with OBS, but... <clears throat> I'm going to copy some of that from over there. <clears throat> That's good enough. It's not really an install, <clears throat> it's just setting up your uh, <clears throat> repositories, the RPM Fusion repositories in your repos file. <clears throat> okay, now, you can install OBS by doing that, and I already have it, of course, so, if you have NVIDIA hardware, Accelerating encoding, make sure you have CUDA installed in case of an older card. Install XORG X11 drive in your instead. <clears throat> okay. Well, I don't want to just hit install CUDA. I don't think that I even have a NVIDIA chip on this thing. I don't remember what it is. But it's that, you know, it would not be working. So that's all there is to Fedora. Then there's Mandriva and OpenSUSE. Gentoo, Debane, Supposed oh, Debane 9. I was wondering if it would run on Debane, because <clears throat> I was wondering if I could run it on one of the laptops <clears throat> in Debane. I know it won't, uh, I've tried it with uh, Fedora, and Fedora is just too hard on those. Too much, you know, uses too much resources for the dual core to handle it. The laptops start working real hard, and they get hot within 5-10 minutes, and then they shut themselves down laptops I have dual core <clears throat> well, the one I was turning it on was the Dell 1525 dual core with 3 gig of RAM you do need FFmpeg which I have I don't know what. I guess Snappy may be a, <clears throat> a Linux distro. I've never heard of it. I thought it was some add-on or something. Then if you wanted to build it from scratch, from, from source code, it'll run on BSD. Okay, so. I was just wondering that the other day about the bank. Because, <clears throat> you know, you like if I go outside, <clears throat> well, you know, a laptop has a has a wireless card, right? So you could take the laptop outside with you, and instead of trying to stream the cameras back to in here to the routers, which I have brought, you know, lots of latency problems with, I thought, you know, maybe if you just stream you, the camera stream to the, well, they still got to stream to the routers. 
anyway, I just thought you might do that, you know. Or say I plugged in a USB cam into the laptop or the laptop. Well, the only one I have with a USB cam, it's terrible. It's, it's really bad. <clears throat> it's on that D Dell 1525. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, you know, there's a lot of good uh, advantages if you streaming from the laptop. You can carry it around and everything. So, um, <clears throat> what I'll, if in order to stream out in the garage or anywhere else, <clears throat> I'll need to take, finish, I'll go ahead and do like I've been planning and set up my TP-Link router as a wireless repeater and take it out there and it'll do 750 megabits or more wirelessly. <clears throat> that should be plenty to send it from out there in here to this router and then it should work going to my machine as I've been doing except for even just to record you know I can still do that even if the uh, I'm going to close that <clears throat> alright so that was just something I wanted to see It says it's solved, but I don't think it was solved. <clears throat> there's the documentation. Can't find. Okay, there's a search right there. Nothing. I think I've already done this. <clears throat> Crash handler. Plenty of documentation there, <clears throat> but finding, you know, what we're looking for. You know, well, it still wouldn't matter. I've been, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I search just like this. OBS stream to YouTube, yeah. Okay. That'll just be how to and all that stuff. Now then. Oops. Could put it in YouTube, but that's not one. That's in 16. There's a video that says how to fix it. <clears throat> well, maybe I'll watch in 2017, but it could be something that's happening again. Oh. I'm going to have to go watch these then. Well, you know, I'm not going to watch somebody else's video in my video because I think YouTube would give me a copyright problems. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, it may not turn out to be anything, you know. But, I did look at... Uh, A 
bunch of these. That's about the chat room. Let's go to the first one, <clears throat> even though it's older. I think I've already seen this one, though. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of these. Oh, unfortunately, there's no one useful data. No useful data. It crashed, so the log's incomplete. <laughs> yeah, I've seen all these, over and over seen these things. Twenty five hundred bit rate it is mainly the game. Some about a game. Well, all I, can, I guess the only thing I can do now is go get me something to eat and start watching some of these videos. See if there's anything, any of them. Okay, and uh, yeah, that doesn't look like it'll help. <clears throat> okay, so um, I guess I'm going to go then and um, it's, it's, you know, it's too tired and it's too late now for me to continue anyway, so disappointed. I really thought I knew, uh, thought I knew what to do actually after Oh, I accidentally changed scenes. I really thought I knew what to do, and, and that was changing and renaming my, you know, what I've been doing this whole time. And I got I got a little ray of hope. It made a four-second video before it crashed one time. I don't know why it did that now. All right, uh, I'm going to go. Um, at least I can still make videos, but, um, boy, it's getting really aggravating. Okay, bye-bye.